Listen to the 48 Hours podcast for shocking murder cases and compelling real life dramas from one of television's most watched true crime shows. Go behind the scenes of each episode with award winning CBS News correspondents and producers in Post Mortem, a weekly deep dive. Listen to 48 Hours wherever you get your podcasts. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, I wanted to, I think I've talked on stuff like this before, but I wanted to do an, another episode. I, I don't care if I've talked on it before. I feel like I need to talk on it again, especially, you know, during this time where people feel like that it's okay to go through with school shootings. So I, I, will, I won't be talking about school shootings throughout this episode. I will mention it at some point in time. And just know that the inspiration behind this episode is I was reading a tweet where um i guess a person yeah was arrested um prior before they were getting ready to go do a school shooting and um no i'm happy that they got arrested and i and you know with stuff like that i i wish like that you know the minimum sentence for that person even if they didn't even go through with it but the fact that they have have written it out they've bought weapons they knew what school they were going to go to or whatever location that they were going to go to and just take innocent people's lives because of whatever anger and you know aggression that they got going on i I wish that they will change that stuff to the minimum sentence if that person is caught and captured and they don't end up dying at the scene because they, you know, in self-inflicted gunshot wound or they got killed by some cops or whoever. If they survive it and they go to prison, right, and even though they ain't kill nobody or even if just prior beforehand where they're just they're getting ready to go up there, but they get caught before then. I wish that they would get life in prison. I, I hope that they get life in prison, even if they didn't even go through with it. And I know people are like, oh, well, that's a little bit too harsh. So what? It's harsh that you're taking a person's life because of your anger. Fam, that is the thing is this, because that's that's what this episode is about. Where it's like when people, when they got this anger and frustration in them and they feel like that others need to be their personal punching bag. No. I, I refuse to be a person's personal punching bag because of whatever anger and aggression that you got going on. Whatever anger and aggression that you got going on, you need to handle that yourself. Not take it out on other people. You need to handle that um, that yourself. And I'm not saying that you need to take your life. No. The thing is, is this. When a car is broken, all right? Getting to the example portion of this podcast episode. When a car is broken, what do you do? You could either get a new car or you can fix that car that you're working on. But in what I overall mean by that, so then you have this pent up anger and aggression. Yeah, it's a little bit different than, you know, getting a car. It's like, you know, this trauma and all this stuff that you got in you and things like you can't just shake that off, like shaking off a, a, a broken down car. You're right. You're 100 percent right. So that's when you switch to the side where you're fixing it and you're working on it until you until that is a working car to where you can drive that car to point A to point B. So what do I overall mean by that with you? You have to work on yourself but you can't just like the thing is this people are be so quick to take the easy way out and it's like fam just give yourself a chance the thing is is this all right you know and to just really just speak on myself and it's like just with all aspects of my life right so let's you know let's let's start what um start off with school i went to school i went to school with bullies i went to school with teachers that i didn't like but it never crossed my mind to go up to that school do something to take the kid's life the teacher's life or whoever random people that's never crossed my mind ever because why what 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 is at the end of the day what is that doing for me that's all that's just doing it. That's the thing is this. I tell like and I don't think a lot of people realize that, but it's like, okay, you take those individuals' lives, you're taking your life too. Because at that point, you are wanted forever. That's not like a crime that you could just shake off. No, you are wanted forever. There I the FBI, cops, whoever, they are not going to stop hunting for you until you are caught, found, and in prison serving a life. So that that's why I'm like with stuff like that. I just I never understood it. I never understood it is them like throughout the years of growing up and just hearing story after story after story, whether it was a school movie theater, random areas. I, I never understood like you have this anger in you and you feel like you need to take other people's lives. Why? And even if it ain't even on some stuff like that, where it's like, fam, the amount of times where I had been at my old job, the cafe in Seattle, where customers, they come, they're having a bad day at work, and then they come down to me, and then they're giving me this attitude, and I'm like, what have I done to you? 
you you sit down and you explain to me what did I do to you personally because if I have done something to you personally then I would like to take the time to apologize but if I didn't shake that attitude because I'm not with that at all I've gotten to a point where I've just gotten so sick and tired of hearing where people they're mad about stuff and they feel like they oh others need to suffer because they're mad about stuff I don't care what you're mad about I, you know, the thing is this, I'm about to sound so insensitive and c- so careless and heartless, just cold blooded in this episode, because I'm like, no, people need to stop carrying on like that. They really need to, because I'm like, I don't care how much um, of your day is going bad. I don't at all. I'm like, come down and have a good day. Come down. And do you know, it's like, because the thing is this. And that everybody is different, so I'm like, you know, I, I know people are going to probably be all like, where well, everybody's not like you. You're right. Everybody's not like me. But I'm not saying that they should live a life like me, but just take some advice. When you're going out and about to places and you're mad or whatever, it's like, fam, don't go nowhere, okay? Stay home. Or if you know you can go out and you're not going to take your anger out. Because the thing is this, I the, the, the amount of times where I've went out to places... And I've had a bad day or even coming back home. And it's like I've had a bad day at work. Come back home, see my family. Excuse me, see my family. I've never once taken my anger out on them. I'll tell them about why I'm upset. But I've never personally have taken my anger out on them. So that's why I'm like, what, what, what is that doing for me? You know, absolutely nothing. But no, like the times where, it, or you know, even going back to school where it's like I have a bad day at school. I'm not going to come home, take my anger on my family because there's no need for that. But anyways, there have been times at my old job where I just had the worst of the worst days. Worst of the worst days. I had to say like during the time period, I remember when it was just me and Jack. For those that don't know Jack, um, I've shouted him out in the podcast and talked about him in the podcast before. A good friend of mine's. Um, he plays in this band called Monitor, bass player. So you guys, if you are like longtime veterans and listeners of my podcast, you most likely have heard me mention this name before. But there is at a point in time where it was just me and him. And we were like putting in like it, it was because it was a three person job, right? It was a three person job, but it was just the two of us with no extra help. I had got to a point where I had got sick and tired of it. And I had went to the one manager that I was chilled with. And I was like, we need to have a meeting today i'm like no we definitely need to have a meeting to say and let's say you know um scenario where she's like oh well we can't um hold no meeting we can't do nothing the next i think one of the things if like if they wouldn't have listened to me and what i had to say i would have quit i would have quit but i'm like i i just i can't work underneath these conditions where it's like i'm not receiving no help at all so somebody else is gonna have to take my spot because i'm done but so anyways, um, it was so they just had me and Jack just working at this location, literally ringing up a crap ton of customers. Like I told you guys how many customers I would ring up on my cash register alone. It was well over 500. And let's say if it was a busy day raining outside, everybody's not trying to go nowhere. So they all just crammed themselves down and onto our floor like serving good food and then people you know you got the ones where it's like oh i think i can you know try to balance things in my hand and then it's like they're like because no there was i remember there was a one day where um jack he was out on lunch i'm ringing up a a gang of customers bro a gang of customers this guy thought he can really balance a glass jar a glass bottle okay on a pizza box and i think everybody knows how a pizza box is shaped there ain't like no guardrails you know how like in bowling where they got like the little guardrails the pizza boxes don't got that for those that have never had pizza in their life if you never seen how a pizza box how it comes in it is a box okay it is a flat box with pizza inside and there ain't no sun nothing on the side that can keep a bottle so I don't know what that man was thinking, was trying to balance it, right, on the pizza box. This man likes to move around a lot. He, he's a mover. He's an energetic person. This man, every time when I seen him, he always would be running somewhere, right? So anyways, he's trying to do that, ends up dropping the bottle. I'm, bruh, I'm, I'm so overwhelmed because I'm like, he, he I'm not going to go and be yelling for Jack. Like, hey, you know, stop, like, stop your lunch so you could come in here and help me. Even though, yeah, you're like halfway through your lunch. Just, just stop, stop your lunch and things, you know, don't take any breaks. Just come out here and help me. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be that person. But from days like that, all right, from days where I got in, and then, yeah, when it was just, you know, uh, me and Jack, and we were just putting in all this extra work and stuff, and it was that meeting, they saying everything they need to say, and I'm like, all I want to know is when are we getting a third person, 
That's it. That's all that I care about. Because I'm like, it's getting hard. And I'm like, it's going to get to a point in time where you guys are going to have to find two people if you don't find one per- um, person. So I'm like, what, what's what's the issue? What's the problem? And I'm like, yeah, I'm stressed out. I'm angry. But the thing is this, though. All those guys that I was stressed out and angry at, you know, or even if I'm just stressed out and angry at myself, whatever the situation is, guess what? My Those managers, those bad customers... Even just outside of that, you know, kids that I went to school with, teachers that I had, people that I had to deal with um, through content creating, that whole portion of my life. All of these people, okay, that I've had to deal with, that's had some sort of negative effect on my life, right? They're still alive. People that I've had other interactions with. When I go out and about, and the thing is this, there have been times... Where I have a bad day, right? And I go um, go out and about and I'm shopping. I'm going to Foot Locker, Champs, the Nike store, Game Stops, wherever. You know, I go in there and I'm like, okay, yeah, having a bad day. I'm angry. I'm mad. All this other stuff. And I'm like, man, I'm, you know, I'm just ready to just go off and snap and things. But guess what? Guess what? I'm not going to go off and snap on some random people. If they acting hostile and crazy towards me, then yeah, then I'm like, then they'll, they'll probably get, you know, attitude to Moss Boss. But... And if they're being happy and they being cool with me, so like, let's say, you know, two different scenarios, right? So let's say I go over the Foot Locker and I'm like, hey, you guys got these in a the size 10. Yes, we do. Try them on. Go up to the cash register. Oh, hi. How's your day going? I'm like, oh, you know, day's going a little crazy. But hey, I'm like, buy me a new pair of shoes. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, new pairs of shoes. They always help out and things. And it's like, you know, yes. Uh, they telling me about their day. We just sitting down talking, chilling, whatever and things. And then, yeah, you know, in my opinion, that's a good interaction, right? So anyways, all right, so that's that's the good interaction. Hey, it's like, have a nice day, all that other sorts and all that stuff. And I'm like, you know what? Just having that good interaction made me feel a little bit better. I'm going a, I'm to a go home happy. But then knowing my luck, done missed the bus, raining outside, slipped and fell, smashed the shoebox. I'm like, at this point, I'm like, bro, if I can flip the world upside down, I would. <laughs> I'm like, because I'm saying I've had days like that, okay? But anyways, but no, next scenario. Where it's like now this uh person is having a you know a uh, uh, issue with me and I've never even done nothing so I'm like I go in there having a bad day all that stuff so yeah still that but I'm in there having a bad day so I go in there and I'm all like hey you have these in the size ten and then the person's looking at me like well I don't know I'm like well you work here don't you so I'm like you don't you got like a little scanner and you can check and I'm all like then at that point yeah I'm gonna start getting smart then I'm gonna start showcasing some anger where it's all like if I've done nothing to you then it's like what why. What have I do like this? You know, what have I done to you? Why are you giving me an attitude? See, see, that's what I'm saying, where it's like there's no reason to be going out and about to random people. They've done nothing to you. You're giving them an attitude. You're taking their life. You're doing whatever. There's no reason for that at all. I don't care what anger you got going on in your life. I don't care what you got going on in your life. There is people that have been through some of the most traumatic things that I have ever heard. Guess what? They are chilled with those people that have caused those traumatic things. So that's why it, it, it really, it trips me out when I hear stories and situations and whatever. And I'm like, fam, what do you guys got going on where you feel like you need to take your anger out on people that even did nothing to you? So that's why I'm like, nah, man. It's like when I hear stories, when I hear stories and people, they all like, oh, school shooter. And they try to like, you give out a reason like, oh, well, they were bullied in school. They were, the, I'm like, so that would the, the thing is this i may come off as insensitive i know i might be a little bit cold and heartless right now but i'm like so what we've all been bullied we've all have went through some stuff and then it's like okay let's say if we've had a bad job we've all had a bad job or at least bad moments at that job but i'm like the thing is this there are always other ways of fixing your life and making your life better but how is making your life better by taking other people's lives for what well, what is it? What is it doing for anybody? Nothing. That's why it's like with that. Who is it? The uh, one in, um, guy who was like at Walmart. He worked there. He got mad, sh- um, like start shooting and killing his employees and stuff. And I'm like, there's no reason for that. There's no reason for any of that stuff. And I'm like, and I'm like, and the thing is this, I, I hope that these people start surviving these things like the ones that is going through because it's like either they get, you know, either they try to kill themselves or a cop ends up killing them. But I, I, I really hope that these guys start surviving these things and then they just serve life in prison because I'm like, there's there's no reason to be carrying on like that.
none whatsoever and then you know for uh like a minimum case where it's like okay they ain't doing they just over here just giving out attitudes toward pe um towards people for no reason because they're having a bad day i hope their day gets worse because i'm like again there's no reason to be carrying on and acting the way that you're acting towards people that even did nothing to you so that's why i'm like nah it's like stuff like that people i'm like look talking and now talking to those that's like you know yeah I've, I've dealt with that where people they've given me an attitude no just start acting crazy towards them show show them showcase to them okay that i can act 10 times angry and 10 times crazier because there is no reason to be carrying on like that towards me and i've done nothing to you so yeah I'm like, that's that's what I wanted to talk on. That's that's what was sitting on my chest for a little bit. And uh, yeah, I was like, I, I got to talk on that. And I was like, after reading that article, I was like, no, nah, I got to talk on that and things. But anyways, just, you know, overall, just start being cool with people. Start being chill with them because there's no reason to be giving them an attitude. And they've done nothing to you. All right. So. But anyways, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. I ain't going to do no promo stuff because I feel like this is a little bit of a serious episode. So anyways, um, stay tuned for the next episode and peace.